In this tutorial, I'll work with a new category for the Book Reviews pages. I'll use K2's extra fields to make it easy to add additional information for each book. I'll also add an image gallery to display book illustrations. Since I imported Joomla content into this site, I already have categories and a few items. If you're working with a new site, you can create a new category by clicking New from the Categories tab. For the Book Reviews category, I'll set the leading count to 3 and leave the items at a single column. I'll set the image size to medium, the primary and secondary counts I'm going to set to 0, and links to 5. As I did for the blog, I'll turn off the category information that displays at the top of the page by switching these settings to Hide. You can adjust your category settings to whatever you would like for the particular site you're working on. I've simplified the layout here in order to focus on the new features I want to cover in this session. Next, you need a menu option to display this category. Create a new menu item if you have a new site. I just need to change the menu type of my existing menu item. I'll set it to K2 Categories and select the Books and Media category. I modified the CSS to float the images to the left rather than having them display above the text. I'll show you how to do that in a later tutorial. Next, I'll add the extra fields for the book reviews. First, I need to create an extra field group. Click New and give the group a title. Now I'll add the fields I want to use for the book reviews. Go to Extra Fields and click New. Under Type, you have a variety of options. I'll use a few different ones so you can see how they work. I'll call this field Book Type. Here's where we use the group. I'll select Book Info. I'll set this as a radio button with the options of Fiction or Nonfiction. It would be nice if they had a Save and New button here, but for now I'll Save and Close and then click New to add another field. Set this as Age Range in the Book Info group and this will be a drop-down list. I added two more fields, a link to purchase the book from Amazon, which is a link type, and the number of pages, which is a simple text field. Now we need to go back to the books category. There's an option here to associate an extra fields group with this category. I'll set this to Book Info. Now if I add or edit an item in the Books category and click the Extra Fields tab, the additional fields that I created are displayed here. Fill out the additional information and save the item. If I go to the front end and refresh the page, the extra fields are not shown here, but if I click the title to go to the item view, the additional fields are displayed beneath the main content. The page the menu links to is a category view. If you'd like to see the additional fields displayed here, edit the category Go to the section Item View Options in Category Listings and set Extra Fields to Show. Now we see the extra fields in the Category View. There are also settings to hide or show extra fields in the Global Parameters, the Layout and Views tab, for tag listings, 
and the search and date listings, you have the option to show the extra fields. Next, I'd like to add an image gallery to display additional images for each book. In order to use the gallery feature, you need to install the Simple Image Gallery Pro plugin from JoomlaWorks.net. This plugin is a commercial product, so you'll need to purchase it if you'd like to use the Image Gallery tab. Install the plugin from the Joomla Extension Manager. Then go to the Plugin Manager. You'll need to enable the plugin. There are some optional settings here, such as the thumbnail width and height. There is also a download image link in the pop up, and I'll turn that off so people can't download the images. Now, if we go back to K2 and edit an item, go to the image gallery. You can upload a zip file of images or enter the URL of a Flickr set. I've already zipped a set of images for this item. Save the item. We're in category view here. If I click to go to the item view and scroll down, you see the image gallery displayed at the bottom of the page. There's a light box view of each of the images. The size of these thumbnails can be adjusted from the plugin settings. That didn't take long to create an entirely different look for this section of the website. The book reviews have the same features like ratings, comments, social media, author profile, and tagging that were available in the blog section I worked on earlier. Next I'll work on this section that features horse camps and we'll see how to add video to items.